What's up guys, Alex Techno Tech, how you doing? If you're like me and you love having the newest thing right away, you were probably really excited when Google announced they were bringing the Google Assistant to Android phones with 6.0 or higher, starting with the US first. The rollout began last week apparently, but a lot of people didn't get it, including myself. I do live in the US as well, so I don't know why it took so long, but uh, it was staggered, I believe and there was a server side switch. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to get this update. So first off, your phone has to of course run Android 6.0 Marshmallow or above. I'm using this Honor 8 recently upgraded to 7.0. Um, so my Android version is 7.0. So I do qualify for that. This was going to be updated straight through a Google Play services update. So we, a lot of people speculated that this was going to be updated through here. And once this updated, you would have obtained this thing right here, Google Assistant. Um, however, I can vouch that even though after you update your Google Play services, whenever you do get that update, it doesn't automatically turn on your Google Assistant. I think it's a server side switch. So even if you do have that updated or you flash the APK, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't change anything uh, that I've noticed. Also your Google app, um, I don't think this influences whether your Google Assistant starts or not. So this is basically exactly what we got on the Google Pixel. If you haven't seen my unboxing or my review video of the Google Pixel, we actually did talk about the Google Assistant and we took an in-depth look about that. But there are slight things that are improved and also slight things that we don't have access to. So the first thing we're gonna take a look, of course, is the Google Assistant. So sorry right now if I trigger any of your phones, but keep this in mind, we're just gonna do a demo. Okay, Google, read my messages. So it's gonna read my text messages for You've me. got several text messages. Here are the five most recent. The first is from Benny Ye. Do you wanna hear it or skip it? Hear it. It says, not is that supposed to come with nougat or something? Do you want it to reply, repeat, or go on to the next one? Reply. Text Benny Ye, sure. What's the message? No, it updates through a Google app, randomly. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. Now, let's actually take a quick look at something where, for example, let's look up an article right now. Let's go to, let's do the Lakers, because the Lakers are in turmoil right now. Uh, a lot of people are curious whether, well, because a lot of people have not used the Google Assistant if they didn't have a Pixel prior, but they were wondering whether you still have access to the Now on Tap stuff. And yes, you do. So you just still hold your button, just like Now on Tap, and you see additional information down here where you can swipe up, and you have basically all your Google Now stats, all your cards, all the information that you probably had on your Google Now. It's all transferred here. You can do almost exactly the same stuff. So like it read that um, on my article that I was reading, it had Luke Walton in there, so it had a quick search there and some articles revolving around him. Uh, I saw the names of the other players that they had. And also, you still have that screenshot ability. It's, it's a little different now. It's called Share Screenshot. So if you click on it, it actually does take a screenshot of that page that you were on, and you can send it to your photos, you save it to your drive, send a message, etc. So you still have that feature there. It's not gone. It's not gone. So the Google Assistant is as smart as it ever was. One thing I really like doing is interacting with it, and it feels like it knows what you're talking about. You can carry on a conversation without having to ask the same thing over and over. For example, let's do this. Okay, Google, when do the Lakers play next? The Los Angeles Lakers' is next game is on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. when they will be playing the Phoenix Suns. Let's turn that up a little bit more so you guys can hear that. Okay, Google, what's their record right now? The Los Angeles Lakers are 15th in the Western Conference with 19 wins and 44 losses, 33 games behind the Golden State Warriors. As you can see there, I didn't have to say what, were the, what was the Lakers record right now or what is the Lakers record right now. All I had to say was what's their record right now and because it Google 
the assistant recognizes that I was talking about the Lakers earlier, it automatically followed. Uh, so it, it can learn more in the future, but right now, it's still pretty impressive that it can recognize your conversation and continue it uh, to an extent. But it's there's still a lot more that I wish it could do. For example, okay, Google, what are the odds that the Lakers get the number one pick? Here's a result from the web. See, it could not continue a conversation even deeper uh, because certain questions are, of course, more difficult for an AI to pick up. For example, this is a hypothetical because there is no distinguished result right now for an NBA team to get a lottery pick yet. It's not, the season's not over. So uh, it, it's harder for it to do certain things like that. But fact-wise, facts, it's actually pretty solid. I went through all the settings and I could not find a way to have uh, the Google Voice be dictated through the lock screen or bypass the lock screen. Um, so, I mean, that's for privacy reasons, for uh, your security reasons, etc. So, we can't do that here, but I remember distinctively that I could do it on my Pixel. Um, so, unfortunately, that is something we're missing there. It just feels more natural, like I'm actually talking to somebody instead of something that's robotic. Uh, so it's one step at a time, but this is a step that's slightly larger now, in my opinion. So very cool. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys get it on your phones. Tell me what you think of the Google Assistant if you've never used it before. And I will see you guys next time. If you like the video, be sure to comment, subscribe, and like. If you didn't like the video, well, you should still subscribe because I'm 100% sure that you're going to like the content that we produce in the future. Until next time, bye!